What is MRA? What is OLA? What is HRA? What is going on? I don't know. Hang on. Yes, I do. I do know. I know everything. I'm going to tell you so you know everything. So there's some abbreviations that get mentioned by players in top drives. To understand them, we need to set the scene with the 0-60 time. That's the basic number on the front of the card. It is based on the car accelerating from a standstill to 60 miles an hour down a dry tarmac drag strip. A 0-60 number is affected by a number of parameters such as weather, track surface or if the race has a rolling start. Let's ignore that and presume we are talking about dry tarmac road. At the top of the list of jargon is MRA. So what is MRA? Well, MRA stands for Mid-Range Acceleration. It's a number that is calculated using the time it takes to get from 60 mile an hour to 100 mile an hour. You can calculate a car's MRA figure using the 0 to 100 and the 0 to 60 figures. These are easy-ish to find using a couple of track sets in the campaign levels. MRA is the 0 to 60 divided by its 60 to 100 time multiplied by 100. For example, if a car has a 0 to 60 acceleration time of 3 seconds and a 60 to 100 time of 5 seconds, then the MRA of the car would be 60. An average interpretation would be that bad MRA is below 60, good MRA is above 80. A car that has great MRA is a car that has over 100, let's say. In fact, if a car has MRA of 100, it means the acceleration time from 60 to 100 is the same as it takes to get from 0 to 60. So if we all now understand 0 to 60 is getting the first 60 mile an hour number and MRA is the number calculated going between 60 and 100, then the next thing to understand is OLA. OLA is the abbreviation for offline acceleration. To quantify it, people think of it as 0 to 30. It's useful for twisty tracks because a car on a twisty track is normally in that 0 to 30 acceleration range, having little bursts of speed between corners. In top drives, we don't normally worry about OLA. There aren't any tracks to accurately measure the OLA, so it's more of a visual thing. A car with a very low OLA number can outperform its handling number because of that extra burst of speed it gets on the small straights on a twisty track. Don't worry about OLA. It's not a thing. It's too complicated to work out and won't affect your gameplay. Obviously, there are cars in the game who perform most of the impressive driving above 100 mile an hour. This is where HRA comes in. HRA stands for High Range Acceleration and is normally considered to be the number calculated from 100 to 150 mile an hour. Like OLA, it isn't generally calculated or considered. However, if a car has a top speed of 250 mile an hour and good MRA, then it really needs good HRA as well because it's probably not going to spend much time in the 60 to 100 range like OLA, people don't really talk about HRA. Forget I even mentioned it. And that is all the knowledge done. Now to put it into context, a car with a high top speed such as the 300 mile an hour Jesco needs a good MRA and a good HRA to be great. It will get to 100 quickly with good MRA, but if the HRA is slow and then other cars will start to pass it on the drag until it gets to its insane top speed, which is where the other cars start to drop off. Luckily it does have both. A car like the Lancia ECV with a top speed of 140 is still a great medium distance dragster because it has such a good off the line 0-60 takeoff acceleration and the MRA is good at 72. So that gets it to the finish line before many of the other cars with the higher top speeds have even got to 100 mile an hour. A car like the Lotus Via is an interesting dragster. If you watch it then you will see others cars launching off the line with better 0-60 times but then it's epic MRA of 151 and it's great HRA figure both kick in and it immediately gets its top speed of 220 leaving the other car with the more usual acceleration curve behind it. So now we've discussed all the different figures regarding acceleration on a drag strip. How do you know what they are for each car because there aren't statistics on the front of the cards in top drives? Well you could test each car on each drag race length and work it out but don't bother. They are listed in top drive records. In any search window, it shows the MRA number in the line item for that car. It's also listed under the 0 to 100 figures. I try not to use top drive records too much for completing challenges, but it is very useful to find this sort of information out 
and for getting a comparison between cars to see which of those cars is good enough to win a race before you spend time upgrading it. And that really is all I have to say on the topic of car acceleration. As you play the game you will see different characteristics of a car on a drag strip. An acceleration curve through 0 to 60, 60 to 100 and beyond is what makes drag racing more interesting than just the number on the front of the card. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions for me, I regularly post an Ask Mike video answering viewers' questions. Add your question in the comments below and I may cover it in a future video. We are done now. School time is over.